Ik probeer het. Ik kom op je favoriete draak. Yes, sorry. Oké, um. oké. Okay, okay. Sorry. Um. Time to start the video. Good day, Dino friends. Today I am back from a little break. I had like a week break, a little longer than a week break from YouTube. And I missed out on possibly the most epic thing ever. Apparently Dragon Adventures is going to have dinosaurs now. And that's amazing. Like I was like, maybe I need a little break from Dragon Adventures. And they're like, no, we will let you know. We're going to give you dinosaurs. They're made especially for me. Did you know that? They're especially for me. Yes, I, I know. I got Arithia a message, me. message from Erythia and she said, <gasps> here is a real message and definitely not fake. Tommy, this update is just for you and no one else. Prehistoric world only for the true dino fans. Uh, much love from definitely real Erythia and not fake at all. So <laughs> yeah, you can trust that. You can trust that. That is yes. real. So, but that's really cool. Actual dino dragons are coming to Dragon Adventure. So I think today I just want to look at uh, all the things in the Discord, the wiki, and all the other places where you have leaks. Because I oh. was I was awake for a week. I was just sleeping for a week straight, just sleeping. So I have no idea. I only saw one dragon. Is there still only one dragon uh, that we know that's going to come? At the moment, you can see one dragon. Yeah, and then and it there's like two a fish. more. It doesn't look like a fish. Okay, guys. It does let's, look like let's a look fish. At, look, let's look at it. I'm going to the Discord right now. There yeah. it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. It's called Rindak, made by Bripu. It's mostly based on Quetzalcoatlus, that really big pterosaur. Uh, it's actually not a dinosaur, you know flying reptile but um i don't know if it was you fluffy or erythia herself who said they would be based on multiple dinosaurs and if you look really close at this image look at its toes it has a raptor oh. toe it has one big raptor claw on its front limb so i can already see that it's based on multiple dinosaurs the tail uh, i don't why are you saying fish i don't see that it looks like a fish at all it does look a fish uh, How? I, I can Pick the message right now where um, Arifia yeah. says it's based on multiple dinos, like the Spinosaurus with the spikes. It's really cool. What? What's and... what, what, what Spinosaurus? Or oh, maybe the mouth shape is a little bit Spinosaurus. Uh, I mean, um, the, the Stegosaurus. Oh, the Stegosaurus. Yeah, okay, yeah, Oops. okay. I've got Spinosaurus because I asked her if that's coming in the game as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm definitely going to make another video where it will be just my ideas. Like, I hope it's this dinosaur, I hope it's this dinosaur. So in this video, we'll just look at what's really coming. And then in the next video, we'll just think of ideas even if they don't come Ooh. it's still fun to think of our own favorite dinosaurs and then like what would they look like as dragons oh here's a little video of it flying oh that is cool that's just straight up flying a dinosaur oh it has like a very big claw on its hand as well or not what is that hang on huh? like this do you yep. see this oh that is its front like oh that is the claw that i mentioned yeah okay that is sort of like a raptor claw can we just yeah. cue a little gif of the jurassic park where he does the claw I'm going to put that in the video for sure. Also, you need a mutation for these teeth. So I really hope I can get one with at least that mutation for those teeth. Those are so cool. That really reminds me of the Dimorphodon. Yeah, Dimorphodon teeth. teeth yes. Let's see here. It also says... Oh, it actually says right here what it is. Uh, I also mixed in some other dinosaurs. Stegocentrosaurus with the spikes. Very subtle Brachiosaurus in the middle head crest. I was looking at that. That's Bra Brachiosaurus. Oh, yes. I see it. Well, how did I not see that? With the middle crest and the posture and most of it is the um general shape is quits quits quotes i can never pronounce that one <laughs> wait let me yeah. try to pronounce it quits yeah. quotes yeah that, okay, that, that thing that's really is hard so big and it's actually going to be big there was one picture yeah here like where you can see the little guy standing next to it it's so big like a real quetzalcoatlus did you know it's gonna be as big as the pharah the valentine strand oh man so these new dinosaur dragons are definitely going to probably well they're going to be my favorites maybe not i don't know if anything can ever defeat this beautiful saurium saurium because saurium is also kind of half dinosaur it's based on like it's it's called fluffy raptor they so sometimes call it a fluffy raptor. It's a raptor that's really fluffy. 
Why are you not yeah. Fluffy when your name is Fluffy? Explain that. I named my raptor Fluffy. So I don't know why you think it's a fish, though. I still don't see it. It looks like a fish, Billow. Just just look at his little face. It looks like a fish. I don't just be honest. It. Maybe the tail is a little bit, I guess. I don't know. No, it's, okay. it's based on a fish. <laughs> So I just realized why I'm missing all the streams. She streams, of course, for us really late because we're from a completely different time zone. It's probably at least eight hours away. So that's why. I'm mostly thinking about, I don't know why, but apart from dragons, I'm also thinking about the mobs. I actually drew something. Okay, Fluffy, you cannot see this, I'm oh. sorry. But I drew a little crocodile that you have in uh, Dragon Adventures. They always have like a little, uh, they always have like a giant face as you can see they always have like giant head um big jumpers <laughs> they always the head of the creatures are always as big as the rest of the entire body so let's bleep, 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 bleep. so i was thinking what if it would have like a i think definitely a triceratops because or or some oh. kind of ceratopsian i can i cannot draw so it's going to look awful but of course it would need like the giant eyes <laughs> Ha! I was they should make a so... compu with a really big head. <laughs> okay, I made a really ugly head for it. But yeah, I'm picturing a Triceratops. Because most of the monsters in the game have the head as the biggest thing where it has all the features. And a lot of dinosaurs have kind of boring heads. If you make a T-Rex mob, it will probably look a lot like... Um, like the crocodile, so and the stegosaurus, for instance, has a very small head, so you can't really do anything with it. So it's probably going to be mobs based on dinosaurs and other creatures that um, have a lot of head stuff going on with their head. Maybe other prehistoric creatures like mammoth can also maybe be possible. I'm not really sure. Ooh, but isn't that the Ice Age though? Yeah, but it's still prehistoric. I don't know. I don't know what? if they're mixing the, the, all the different times or if it's going to be mostly dinosaur times. And also Erythia has been working a lot on changing the interface. So all the screens are going to look so different. Like the buttons, this is not going to be brown. I don't know. It's going to feel so weird when everything's going to be different. We're getting, we're going to get used to it very fast, I think. But also, it's going to feel very different because interface is something that you just get used to. All the different buttons, all the different screens. So when those all look different, uh, that's just going to take some time to get used to. There's also an official Dragon Adventures wiki. Uh, if you have never looked at it, there's tons of useful information about how to play. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, there is. Dragon Adventures Wiki. Uh, they have a lot of <laughs> interesting know. information. That's also where I found the um, list of colors. I, th Ooh. I think I sent you this before. So you can very easily tell what color a baby is going to be based on the parent's color and stuff. So that's very useful. Um, anyway, they have some information on the prehistoric world. Prehistoric is a confirmed... Is a confirmed on one of Erythia's streams, double exclamation point. Okay, this was not very official. I think this was just written by someone very quickly. Uh, it is supposedly a combination of all the worlds. What? So far, there is only one new confirmed dragon, the Rindak. That's what it's going to be called based on the Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus. Uh, will be a wyvern-like dragon. The dragon will be from the prehistoric world. It seems to have an appearance like a pterosaur, Quetzalcoatlus, or Tapiera. Yeah, okay, we already looked at that. Not a lot of it is known. Breeding cooldown 30 minutes. Hatch time 1 hour. So I'm guessing you will. there will be one egg where all the three dinosaur dragons can come from it. She said there were three, right? That's official, right? Uh, but there's a really fun thing. You have to unlock the world first. Yes. Then you can unlock the yes. uh, dragons and then you can obtain them out of the egg. That is so cool. So we were actually talking to Erythia on one of Fluffy's streams. We were talking to her and she said she's very excited because this world is not one where you can just buy it for the rich people. Can just click buy and then you have it. No, you have to actually do a special, special mission. I think she actually said multiple steps mission. And also... To get the dragons, you have to sort of do a mission. So, I don't know. Maybe it will be it will be really cool if it was like a mission where you have to kind of tame it. Instead of coming from an egg, that would be really cool if it was Ooh. something like that. Or that you have to get, get an egg and give it to him. Yeah. So you like tame it. 
What else do we know about the prehistoric world? Not much. The Dragon Adventures wiki does not have a lot. One of Erythia's ideas of the map's design is sort of donut, but a small area inside of the whole area. Okay, so round area. Okay. She will not be adding just dinosaurs, but hybrids of dinosaurs. Not much else is Ooh. known. Information leaked from the streams will most likely be a puzzle for the world. Yes, similar to Wasteland or Fantasy. Uh, we'll need a lot of sacrifices to get into the world. Oh gosh, what do you mean sacrifices? I don't want to sacrifice Again. my dragons. No, this is not good. It started with the um, toxic wasteland, and now we've got to keep on sac sacrificing. That's no. not good. Uh, herbivore dragon unknown, largest of the three, will be based on herbivores. Ooh, sauropod dragon with a giant neck, please. So the flyer dragon, Renadak, that's the one, Rendak, that we already saw. It's spelled wrong here, Ren Rendak. Uh, carnivore dragon, smallest of the three, supposedly a mix of Albertosaurus, Smilodon, and Caprosuchus. Smilodon? That's interesting. Smilodon is the tooth tiger. So Ooh. dinosaur, but with giant teeth or something. That would be really cool. And Caprosuchus. That's a, I'm pretty sure anything that ends with Suchus is a crocodile-like dinosaur. And herbivore dragon. Okay, that one's going to be big. So, okay, I'm so excited. In the next video, we're definitely just going to look, just going to just think about what would be really cool. Uh, and then That's the last idea. place. It's just a stream. So Erythia does live streams. I will also put a link in the description. I'll probably forget. I'm going to try to put all these links. <laughs> and she does often does live streams. So if you just want to watch her make Dragon Adventures, you should go there and see if she's live. Um, but you can watch back her older videos here. I'm not going to put sound on because I think she uses just random music. She uses uh, okay. copyright music, yeah. So she's designing the interface in this live stream. Is, does she have a live stream where she's designing the... Dinosaur dragon. I think the one before this. Yes. There we go. Here she's designing the toes. Yeah, the toes. Wait, the toes are not. Are they supposed to point backwards? The larger toes? It's like a raptor toe, but pointing backwards. This uh, this update is going to be especially for us big dinosaur fans. Erythia is also a dinosaur fan. If you didn't know, uh, we know it because we played her other game before. Um... Dino Ranchers, where she also had some pretty cool dinosaurs in it, like some unusual ones. It wasn't just Ooh. the typical ones, like oh, T-Rex, Triceratops, Stegosaurus. It was like a lot of lesser known ones, so that's pretty cool. I hope she adds some of those lesser known ones into these updates. What is Jesse doing now? Yes, Fluffy, what is Jesse doing right now? Jesse's being an idiot. <laughs> Oh my god. Jesse is um, <laughs> playing Fortnite. I don't want to play this game, just come to Fluffy. What? Why do you not want to play this game? Dude. I think these people genuinely cool only game. know you and not that I have a channel. What? <laughs> your, your channel is 10 times bigger than mine. Maybe it's like, like 100 times. These people are like, wow, Fluffy. It's because I've been on a break. One short break oh. on YouTube counts as 10 years in real life. They don't, they, they forgot me. What? Help. So Erythia made these horns and I decided to buy them and to wear them. So now I'm also a dino dragon because I'm so excited for the prehistoric world. Oh man, I really can't wait for these dino dragons. This update Can is I especially for us. Okay, where are you? I want to see. I am. Oh, oh, there you are. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, it kind, really of, suits kind, your of, kind of fits my colors, except the yellow. I don't really have yellow in my outfit, but other than that, it kind of fits. Okay, I think mm -hmm. that's the end of this video. Actually, let's <gasps> do one more thing. We have to give a shout out to Erythia because she joined us and she actually gave us some Easter dragon. So that was really nice for her. Thank you so much to Erythia. Let's see. I used a potion on mine. It has different colors, but now it is still green. So I really like these colors. It's now yeah, green deep. with, well, it looks black, but it's more like dark brown and white. I really like the white. If you fly with it, I'm going to fly in it. Urgh. So this is the first Oranga. I actually opened a ton of eggs, like 60 or more. And then I couldn't oh. get one. And I was like, yeah, this is not really worth it. I was so, I was, <laughs> I was like, I kind of want one, but I also don't want to spend like forever getting it. So I just sort of stopped. Wait, someone's Fyra is up for auction. Someone's Fyra is up for auction right now. That's Fluffy's favorite dragon. 
the fire. That is my favorite dragon. Okay, so when it oh, runs... Oh, you canceled! No! So I think I'm going to keep this, so uh, Fluffy actually gives them away sometimes, these dragons. But since this one was given by Arithia, I think I'll keep it. Also, it's the only one that I have. Look, it kind of runs like a bunny dragon. That's so cool. I'm really sad that not more people can have this dragon. It was really rare. I don't, still don't really understand why they made it that rare, because it's just sad for so many people that they cannot have it. Oh, I want to get here with uh, the Aran get it, uh, Arithia gave me as well it was this yeah. one but i used a color shuffle it was a two three and that yeah was he got sad. while it was live he get, he used po potions on it and it got two out of three the same colors two times like a yellow and now he accidentally messed it up and mm -hmm. i accidentally uh changed the color of this one as well but it actually turned out better i like these colors even better just a more darker green oh there's one thing that we have to settle uh watermelon <gasps> man you what see is it? My outfit is black, and I have the green skin color, and then there's also a lot of red in my outfit. Do you see my outfit? Yeah. But you are Watermelon Man, so your colors are also kind of green, red, and black. How can we solve this? We cannot have the same colors. It's, it's fine. We are, we are becoming um, one big family. But then, if it's if you have a dragon with these colors, will it be a watermelon dragon or a buildosaurus look, dragon? Look, it will look like this. Oh, he already got one. Ooh, nice. Or like this. Watermelon. Yeah, watermelon is more lighter green, and my skin is more dark green than a watermelon. And I have more red, and watermelon is kind of like pinkish red, kind of. So it's slightly different, I guess. It's, it's fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. Let's end the video. This video was so long. Okay. Everyone, say bye to Fluffy. Sub to Fluffy. Sub to me first. Me first. Me Sub first. to Bilosaurus. Then to Fluffy. But me first. Okay. Always bye, everyone. First. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur.